Hi, Aquarius. It's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Please continue to do so. Okay, Aquarius, go ahead and unsubscribe now because the message I was getting off camera, I know it's one that a lot of you are not going to want to hear. Um, all right, so it, it was kind of like broken up. It was fragmented, but it, it, there was a, a masculine energy, a man showing up constantly in the the reading that I was getting off camera. And then spirit was saying, you know, I put this man here. You feel like it's toxic, like this person is an obstacle to you getting what it is you said you wanted. But this is what you said you wanted. This is who you said you wanted. Something here is to this person was put into your life to kind of rewire rework something in in you because we all are participating in the law of attraction whether we want to subscribe to it or not so you're attracting things to you that are supposed to be in your life for whatever reason it's for you to learn the lesson fix something within you and i heard like some of you'll get something else or you'll get something new but you but you can't keep running from this i don't know you know, and everybody's situation is going to be different. Now, this is not disclaimer. This is not for those of you who are in uh, extremely abusive situations, whether it be physical, verbal, um, maybe even abuse in terms of monetary. No, that is not for you guys. But for some of you who have the small gripes with with people, with their person, I don't like that he doesn't call me back. I don't like that we didn't take a trip to San Jose, whatever, you know, s simple stuff like that or he, he has other parties and I don't like it. All right, get in the game, you know, compete. If you know you're dealing with somebody worth competing for, get in the game. It is what it is. Those women see what you see in him too, or those men see in her what you see. So I don't know, this is to strengthen somebody or to help them understand that things worth having and worth fighting for. You can't just walk away. You can't just be upset when it doesn't go your way. Something is working in somebody's life here. I'm not exactly sure. And it's not going to resonate with everybody. That's why I say go ahead and unsubscribe now. I know you don't want to hear that. You want to hear that when you go to the grocery store tonight, you're going to find your, your new lover who's going to be with you forever, do everything you say and do everything right. Yep. Okay. Um, there, you heard me say it now. Now it's solidified for you. There you go. You're going to find your new lover at the grocery store tonight. All right. And then when you walk out, you'll see a bag of money waiting for you to buy your car. So you know that it's for you. Okay. Moving right along. Let's pull the cards here. Um, that's for somebody. It is what it is. You know, if, it, if you don't want to subscribe to that, then you don't have to. You can say, no, that's not for me. You can move on. All right. Let's see. What what does the and this is a full moon, so we're gonna talk about what you need to release, Aquarius. And I think that's why they came up in the pre-shuffle. Some of you need to release this this long list of BS that you have for your person. You know? Um some of you got your person. Yeah. Queen of Earth. You're in a very lucky period, Aquarius. And it says that for some of you, if you are dealing with someone, you have some type of semblance of a relationship or a relationship altogether, it could be going into a more committed state of being. This is a fertile time, a fertile opportunity for you in, in terms of love and a career and finance. Some of you are focused on your body, a body of work, even your body. You're more focused on what you eat, working out, how you look, where you live. The Queen of Pentacles is all about luxury. Uh, she's all about quality over quantity. The Queen of Pentacles says that um, you're gonna make some solid uh, financial uh, investments coming up. Let's see. What well, you need to release the Five of Swords. I knew it was coming out. So some of you have a your a, Venus is in Aquarius and. And if it is, you are the five of swords, you know, self-sabotaging type of energy. Maybe you do it uh, unconsciously, subconsciously. You don't even know that you are sabotaging the relationship, that there's always something wrong that, you know, that maybe you, you pick the argument. 
I don't know, for some of you, that is an Aquarius card, Venus and Aquarius. Um, you need to release this bad blood that you have for another person. Um, you need to release, some of you got a sharp tongue with the Queen of Swords and the Five, the Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here. Some of y'all have a sharp tongue. You need to release, um, when you're hurt, you hurt other people, you know, and you hurt by way of your words. This is a feminine energy. I got a video coming up about that, about the feminine and the masculine energy. I hope it'll help some people in terms of how they operate in the world, you know. So anyway, that video will be coming up maybe tonight or tomorrow. Uh, watch that video. It's going to be short. It's going to be informative and it'll help you so you can get better outcomes. Isn't this what this is all about? So we're coming here to try to get answers, clarity, so we can get a better outcome. I mean, unless you're just coming for the tea and you can get that, maybe not on my channel, but you can get that. Uh, there's some great tarot card readers who bring a lot of entertainment value and I watch them, you watch them. Um, you can get that, but if you want change, if you want better outcomes, then you're here for that. If you're, if you're, you know, if you're not, then I don't know what you're here for, but it's, it's pretty much not a lot on my channel outside of learning and growing. But, um, let's see what's going on here. Um, so you need to release five of swords, energy, Aquarius, just because they hurt you. That means you need to go and do that back or sometimes the the offense doesn't match the punishment and the punishment doesn't match the offense however you want to say that some of you go overboard some of you you derail the relationship by what you say i just heard that clear wow you derail the relationship by what you say and it and then there's a there's it there's a going backwards because the five of swords is about reversal so it's like you can't move forward. You can't press forward. You can't have anything long lasting because some of you, it's about your mouth, what you have said or what you do say. Um, it's about your actions. It's about the bad blood that you create by what you say. This is, this is some terrible things. Mm. What does the Aquarius need to release on this full moon? Now Aquarius disclaimer again, this is not to bash you or whatever, or to say that you're a horrible person. We all have things that we need to work on. If you five of swords somebody, it's because they did something, it was for a reason. So that person has something that they need to work on too, right? And we're here to work on ourselves. So just take the message if it resonates, if it doesn't click off, go. The, you need, wow, can't make this up star card you need to release baggage baggage um from previous hurt the star card talks about that specifically in terms of relationship and love it's you carrying that baggage you also need to you are you are very you're a beautiful person and you have a lot to give and you're the humanitarian so you're a giver and by nature you're a masculine energy so you give you give you give and when you find that you don't receive or it's not being reciprocated, you might go into that five of swords energy and cut some things off and cut some things out and say some things that you really don't mean, but you're trying to get a reaction. And that is not the way to go about it. That is not a cause and effect. That's not the way to get it. You're going to get um, derailing the relationship by way of what you say. Now, relationship could be platonic, romantic, business. It could be anything. But you need to release the star card Aquarius baggage you carry this with you um you have been maybe misused or abused therefore your guard is up but you've got to go into every situation differently and you have to start looking at the end result the outcomes are you getting the outcomes that you want is every relationship ending the same way are you treating people with compassion are you watching what you say? All right. One last card for what the Aquarius needs to release on this full moon. Ooh, okay. That one to come out. Wow, can't make this shit up. Damn, Aquarius. Page, page energy. So when you have more than, we got two pages, two or more pages come out in a reading. It talks about immaturity. It talks about hot headedness. It talks about tempers flaring. You got, you got children. You know, that's what pages kind of 
um, indicate. And then you've got the number one, you know, in, maybe verbally immature, loose lips, sink ships, okay, whatever. Loose lips, page up air. You need to release your tactless, rude, sometimes rude, um, yeah, your tactless and your rude speech. You need to say nothing at all. If you don't have anything good to say, you need to learn because the page of swords is also about learning, learn how this is conflict resolution all, all over this. So something you need to learn conflict resolution, you resolve the conflict and then you move on together, whether it's in friendship or, you know, romantic, platonic, whatever business, it's not always final. It's not always, okay, I'm done. I am going to destroy this. And that's what the five of swords does. It destroys. There's no creation here. And the fives are a talk, talk about temporary and instability. So it's like you make some permanent decisions on some temporary feelings. You might need to learn how to be more mature in your wordplay and what you say, what you don't say. This talks about reframing from talking because it'll turn into petty arguments. Some of you need to refrain from gossiping, being in gossip. Maybe some of you are in some immature, some of you in your kids business or, uh, I don't know, something about immaturity, high level of immaturity. You need to release, um, starting over. The page of earth is always about stability elsewhere. Like I'll, I'll tear this down and then I'll find something else. You know, you need to release the constant you know, need to start over or want to start over or you go to, it's final, it's done. And when I'm starting over somewhere else, I'm gone. You know, something about consistency, learning, being more studious. Yeah. So, oh, this is conflict resolution all over this. The two of swords, you get nothing. Okay, a lot of swords coming out now. Um. It's either about love or money when it's swords or both. Um, some of you need to, on this full moon, you need, this is conflict resolution. The two of swords talks about make, knowing that you need to make a decision on something. You got to weigh the pros and the cons. It's best to walk away before you make it, you know, a determining factor. But some of you, you don't walk away. You do this. You go in, you go off because you haven't released the baggage previously. And you know that you have a high level of, you know, a worth value that you bring to situations. So it's almost, it's almost ego based. The five of swords does talk about ego. You just can't believe that somebody would do something so egregious, if you will, to you or say something or treat you this way. And you go in Aquarius, there's no compassion here. You don't even have the compassion of maybe even saying in your mind that this person knows not what they do. They don't know who they dealing with, but you know, I'll show them by way of walking away, not speaking to them and then coming, letting them come to me or when I'm ready to talk, I'll talk when cooler heads prevail. Um, and then some of you, yeah, you'll go, you'll do this. You'll go off the page of swords, the five of swords. And then you'll say, I'll find something else. I'll go somewhere else. I'll take my ball and go home. All right, let's get Aquarius some advice. Um, what I am going to do is extend this reading for some of you who really want to learn about yourselves. And, th and this does not make you a bad person, Aquarius. This just makes you, some of you need to learn conflict resolution. And it looks like it's a feminine energy. We got a lot of feminine energy. Yep. Um, just needs to learn conflict resolution and know what not to say, especially to opposite sex, masculine energy, because it's going to always resonate with them and it's going to derail situations here. All right. What is the advice for the Aquarius? One card of advice for the Aquarius. One card of advice. Wow. Listen to your intuition. Aquarius with the two of swords, it's like, you know, that you need to walk away, but you just go in, you go off. I'm like here, like somebody going off, off. 
listen to your intuition Aquarius wow I can't make this shit up I'm so happy that the universe is speaking through me and giving somebody here some clarity because this is going to only make you better greater for your new love your past love or whomever you want to be with or just relationships all together friendships business the bottom of the deck you read it read it out loud where you are communicate clearly Aquarius this is about conflict resolution and communicating how you communicate you know are you edifying are you building it up or are you tearing it down only to want to come back to it with the page of pentacles or want them to come back to you damn this can't even I mean it's just four swords at the bottom of the day needing to take a rest take a break you know especially when things are you know, uh, when you are hurt, when you need to heal, you need to take a breather, listen to your intuition, meditate before you go in. Because you know, Aquarius, if you're in this energy, you you have a lot of intellect, that yellow. Um, and you know that you can, your words can either be healing or you could be, it could be catastrophic, it could be devastating. And this is why the the, the cards want you to get better with your communication skills and listen to your intuition because you already know that what you're doing or you're about to do is wrong you know and um they're saying okay if you're going to do this in this relationship maybe even if it was warranted or you feel like you needed to, pr to protect yourself you're going to do it in your next relationship if they give you your quote unquote um life partner twin flame soulmate whatever you subscribe to you'll do this to them eventually when once you know so it's like they want you to fix this about you better yourself so that when you do get maybe your person or if you already have your person I don't know, um it could be long lasting because you, you're moving around too much some of you have options also you need to make a decision about who you want to be with so let's see what it looks like on the other side of 17 minutes. Shit. Um, if Aquarius learns conflict resolution, if Aquarius learns how to communicate clearly, I'm sorry that this isn't for my, I don't really feel like this is for my masculine Aquarius. Um, my men, it could be, you could feel like it resonates for you. Or maybe you dealt with somebody who was like this. Um, Let's see. Well, how does it look if Aquarius learns the lesson of communication? Wow. All right. How does it look if Aquarius learns the lesson of communication? Wow, Aquarius. How does it look if Aquarius learns the lesson of communication? Wow, Aquarius. So we're going to go into the extended. One more question. How does it look if Aquarius learns the lesson of communication? How did, oh, whoa, that wanted to pop out. Whoa. Whoa, Aquarius. Man, I'll just tell you, it's great. Um, so we're going to go into the extended and we're going to talk about how it looks. Um, if you learn the lesson of communication, purchase the extended. The link is below. We also, we're going to go um, from, from all 12 zodiac signs. If you're dealing with an Aries to Pisces. We're going to see uh, what the messages are for Aquarius dealing with Aries to Pisces. All right. So you can kind of get some, you know, um, you know, tailored messages. If you're dealing with, if your boyfriend is a Pisces, then you'll get a message from that. So take advantage of that. Uh, the link is below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night where you can come and ask questions, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can also go over to the website, book your own reading there. If you feel like this resonated for you and you want to know what you need to fix about yourself, um, you can book your own reading and we can talk about it, all right? Um, you can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Is this person really my person? Have I really messed it up? what about me I need to change questions like that you can text those to the number below uh, you can also donate to the channel if you feel like this reading blessed you in any way you could start the exchange you could give back you could buy me a coffee the link is below also thank you guys many blessings to you take care extend it
link is below.